Here is ribonuclease. Ribonuclease is a protein. It is an enzyme and has the function of degrading RNA. RNA is normally converted into an amino acid sequence by the process of translation. However, this process needs to be regulated, otherwise the cell would produce too much protein all the, all the time. In order to regulate it, the cell uses an enzyme called ribonuclease, and ribonuclease degrades RNA when it's not needed. So, <clears throat> ribonuclease has the structure as follows. It consists of one long string of amino acids. This one string curls around itself like a snake, forming a spiral with three turns. One, two, three. There are 124 amino acids in this spiral, and the spiral is held together by four bonds called disulfide bridges. So the first one is here between the 26th amino acid and the 84th. Next one is here between the 40th and the 95th amino acid. The next one is here between the 58th and 110th. And the final disulfide bridge is here between the 65th and the 72th. The disulfide bridges form very strong covalent bonds and hence enable the ribonuclease to retain its form and structure. Uh, coincidentally, this structure contains an interesting mathematical pattern. For example, if we lay out all of the amino acids involved in these four disulfide bonds that hold the structure together, we find that the amino acids are the 26th amino acid, which is bound to the, the uh, 84th. So we're looking at this bond here, 26 to 84. So if we draw a line linking those two, 26 to 84. Now we see that the next one is the 40th to the 95th. So if we do that one in a different colour, 40th to the 95th and then we have the 58th to the 110th which is here 58 amino acid number 58 amino acid 110 so we do this one in green 58 to 110 Go. Now, and then the last bridge is between 65 and 72. So we'll do this one in black 65 and 72. So you can see it forms a kind of a neat symmetrical pattern. Um, now, taking a closer look at the numbers, we can look at the difference between each pair. So 84 minus 26 comes to 58. So if we put this on the diagram like so, and we'll do it in the same colour, okay. so this one is going to be 55 plus 3, which is 58. Let's draw that to there. Put it right in the middle. There you go. Um, the next one here 
the difference between 40 and 95 is 55. So we do this one in red. So we got 55 there in the middle. And the green one, the difference between 58 and 110 is 52. So now, if we go and do this in green, and we'll just draw it here. And of course, the difference between these two in the middle is 7. So we'll do that one last. There you go. So you can see a kind of a neat symmetry about ribonuclease. Um, it's disulfide bridges form a symmetrical pattern based around the number 55. In fact, if we add up all of these numbers, 26 plus 40 plus 58 plus 65 plus 72 plus 84 plus 95 plus 110, the total comes to 55. So sum of all positions equals 550. OK, I'll, so that brings to an end this uh, very short video. I uh, just thought it would be nice to realize that nature doesn't just have a function, but it also has a form.